Let's welcome back to the show for his reaction, former National Security Advisor to Vice President Pence, Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg. Uh, General, it's great to have you on. Your reaction to that report, so there, it's been on the rise for five years, terror threats, terrorists coming into the U.S., trying to cross the border. How can the White House then have collapsed the border just a generation after 9-11? Yeah, Liz, thanks for having me. I think part of it is you're just trying to ignore it, and they're just hoping it goes away. That seems to be the pattern of this administration, which is basically whistle past the graveyard, and then over time it'll go away, and Americans won't care or won't listen to it. And I'm, I'm just not talking about immigration, which is huge, because I think that the border security is our number one national security threat, followed by the, the issues in the United States military, and then your three regional threats in, the, in Europe, in the Middle East and the Far East as well. But the national security on the border is, is huge. And when you look at that, just the comments that were just made by Avril Haines, who is the DNI, and Tim and, and uh, FBI Director Ray, those are stunning comments. And you, I'm glad you're bringing it out, and I hope people are paying attention. But there's so much going on, and there's so many issues. It, it is actually stunning. When you look at the number that have come across, 7.2 million, and then you add the, the gotaways of 1.2 million, you have to add on top of that. Those numbers are absolutely just off the charts. And it's just not they're coming out of South and Latin America anymore, Liz. They're coming from over 115 different countries. And even what, what did uh, FBI Director Ray say the other day? We really don't know what we've got and what we're looking at. Yeah, you that know. That is a very damning indictment of, that's of a, what's going on. That's a damning indictment. We also had former top FBI officials send a letter to the White House saying, we're worried about a mass casualty event where somebody could just throw a, a knapsack of hand grenades into a mm -hmm. crowd at a concert, at a music venue, you know, at a ballpark. They're also, you know, remember after 9-11, yeah. actually before 9-11, it was the attack on the World Trade Center in 1993. Then they succeeded in 9-11, right? So that's what the danger is, that they could go after an airport as well or these other big uh, venues with a lot of people because they want to hit the headlines, right? I mean, you do have 14 Democrats, General, joining a Republican resolution to condemn Biden's immigration policies, Democrats joining that, for refusing to take executive action on the border. You do have a federal judge, Drew, Tipt Drew Tipton, saying, Biden, stop it. Build the border wall. Congress already appropriated billions of dollars in funds that you and the former President Trump worked on. So when you see the action at the border with Texas saying, we're cracking down, we're going to do our part, yeah. then you see the Biden White House suing Texas, suing Arizona over their border barriers, taking it to the Supreme Court. This seems like a White House that is so out of touch with Americans' demands for safety. That's their job. Yeah, Liz, you look at it. Look. Look at the sheer numbers alone. Statistically, it's impossible for some of those people not to be some of the good guys. A lot of them are, in fact, bad. And then when you've got Governor Abbott trying really, really hard to try to control the immigration, what's going on inside Texas, and I think we got to congratulate him because he gave a wake up call, he and Governor DeSantis as well. When they started moving the illegal migrants to major cities, it was good because all of a sudden now, the northern city said, oh, we've got a problem. Yeah, it's a huge problem, and now you're all part of it. Got it. Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg, thank you so much for giving us your expertise tonight and for serving America. We appreciate you very much.